Hello guys, welcome back to another, well, review build, let's say. Uh, brass, blimey, start again. <sighs> Great. I always get confused when words come out and I don't even, I haven't even like planned what speech I'm doing. Anyway, it's a brand new kit from Special Hobby. It is the American Buffalo, but in a Finnish marking scheme, as you can tell, this is the Winter War variant. Uh, that's, again, that's to do a review for this for Scale Aircraft Magazine International and as well as this it's for the uh, UK Scale Modelers or Ian's uh, Foreign Service Group Build basically. I think that's the title name but anyhow. Basically if you're interested guys there's a link to the Facebook group in the description at the bottom. It will take you to the pay oh, oh my seeing off it's getting notifications going off all over the place and it's really getting annoying guys. Really. Really? Anyhow okay on the box as you can tell uh as you saw in the review plenty to, to do and amazingly we start off with the wings which is a bit unusual really. Don't know why, never seen it before. And we get on to making the actual parts for the firewall system which goes in there. Which is pretty weird start off with, I guess. Anyhow, anyhow that's how it's designed. And loads of parts here, there, everywhere. I'm just going to get out the lower wings and we're going to make a start of the kit. So, as I was saying, this is for Ian at UK Scale Modelers Group Build. It is called the Foreign Service Group Build. Basically, make any aircraft, tank, ship, anything that was used from a original country to serve with another country's warfare, I guess you say. For example, this one I'm entering because it's an American aircraft, or US aircraft, depending on what you want to call it, and it's been entered into the Finnish uh, lot. And that's basically how it technically works, guys. That is simple as that. Now, before I do anything, if I can remember, yes, here we go. We have to put the uh, the resin grills into the wings there. That is going to be a bit of pain because uh, they are actually in the bag here. I'm not sure how they're going to go on, so. I think what I, I think what I'm just going to generally do, guys, is if it gets to a difficult part, and I'm going to get some trouble, then I'm going to literally just take it away and probably have a look, and then talk about how we can overcome this step. But I don't see if there's any issue. I think it's just putting the grills and painting it a certain colour, which apparently it is supposed to be silver. But I beg to digress. I think that's going to be black, and then whatever. But anyhow, uh, that's going in there, and then the wheel wells are apparently all silver too. See what I mean? See what I mean? Leave it alone! Yes. And yeah, yeah, basically it's just all the interior work that we'll get started on. It's going to be very weird, because normally I start off with the cockpit, and then work my way through. But this time we're starting with the wings. Uh, it's completely out of my league this is, but when one is thrown into the mix, that is really it. So I'm going to crack on with that, and we're going to come back and we're going to put the wings together. Okay, big mistake, these were not grills, <laughs> these were actually the undercarriage um, detail system I guess. Basically, well, I don't know, like the racks or whatever for the landing gear legs to hold in place. Uh, I did some research and turns out they were pretty much mostly silver. Although some people like to paint them um, in the uh, camouflaged green. It's entirely up to you, but I've done mine silver because I had a look. And I think it was mostly the, the actual itself was silver and the rest of the like the firewall and the cockpit components and everything else was in green which is quite unusual really I don't know why but there you go 
So they weren't um, radiators or anything like that. They were actually parts like that. I don't know what I was thinking of. Um, one part was that uh, this this whole chunk of resin is just left there like so on here. So basically, no, oh, not like that. Two seconds. Uh, basically, I just want to trim this off. You can't really leave a whole piece like so because, well, it was too fragile just to get it off. So I had a quick look, and uh, if you want, you can leave it on unless you want to try and rip it off, which I didn't want to try doing personally. But it's entirely up to you, whatever as a modeler you want to do. But I've chosen not to because. As uh, one's no point, and two, it's going to be much hassle taking off and breaking the actual part. No way is to get the rip. resin piece off, like so. The joys of scale modelling, hey okay, guys. Don't we know it? Okay, so I'm just checking that's in place, it should be. Okay, just gonna put that in there. Soon detail up anyway. Right, so I'm just gonna put the wing on to the bottom here. And now already I put one piece on and we're going to snag. Uh this bottom piece that fits onto the bottom is kind of a non fitter guys. So you have to, I'm still in the process of sanding it down as you can see with um, a grain sander just just need to take it down complete to make it a nice curved edge. Sometimes they were filled with glass, sometimes they weren't. It's entirely up to you. But according to this one, this one was covered. Like so. Anyhow, let's get this top wing on, like so. So as you can see, that there's a bit that sticks out. I don't know why, but it just does. That fits on, like so, to make the, the gear bay. Like so, there we are. Uh, get some pegs. Just gonna put some glue down across here and across the back wing tip there. Don't know why I'm in a singing mood today for some reason. I do not know why. I just am. Um, so apologies if I, I've got, uh, oh actually hold on a second, right okay, is that supposed to be like that or not, tell me what we'll go for this angle, no, Hmm. Okay. Right, I'm not sure how that's supposed to go. But uh put some down there. Onto that like so. Uh it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a fit guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Right, wings. I think the term special hobby by name, special hobby by nature, easily lives up to its representation of this kit. Apart from that, it looks good. It's just the edge of the wings that needs sanding down. Like so. Uh, okay, there's that one in. Let's see if this one will go in next. Either a peg. Like so. That fits perfectly on there. So once again, I'm just go put some glue on there. So that's 
Okay. Right, so it looks like we put this on and then we have to bring this front piece forward. Oops, excuse for, excuse for that, if you saw that. Bring this part forward like that. For some reason unknown. For some reasons unknown to man it has to be brought forward like so. Okay, right, so I think the back will need sanding down a fit, bit. But apart from that, I think it looks cracking. It's just uh, like, as always, tidy ups here and there. Some projects. So, I think that's the wing assembly done by looks of it. So, it does, it's only a small aircraft, I'm going to have to admit. So, now I think we're going to move on to the actual framing itself. Uh, we can actually get started then. I'm actually making it look like an aircraft. Okay, as promised, I've come back and this part is the firewall that sits between the cockpit and the actual uh, landing gear slash radio compartment, well, radio, but engine compartment, sorry. It's so naturally wrong one. Fits in between the wings like that. I've test fitted it. Fits actually not bad. But naturally that piece there, uh, you have to kind of slide it underneath and press it in. So I'm going to paint it before we do anything. Um, not bad for the wheel wells, but you know, I said it could be better. But, I have to say, it's nice detail within this part. Very nice detail. And then of course, um, the engine housing goes on the front of this and that lot. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to paint it interior green. Now, I've carved some trouble finding the right colour list, but I've decided to go back to my original favourite, which is 226 from Humbra, which I, I don't hardly use, but it gives a nice, nice colour out. Just build up nice, la nice even layers on it. Okay, I might have done it a bit too thick, but... So, it's a nice actually green this is, not bad. I always have trouble finding a colour for the US interior green, but I think, I did, well, I, did, I have to confess, I did have a look before going back to this, and the only paint I could find was the, um, I think it was home, no, so I missed a colour, it was 58, H58, or it was C351, I think, but that comes in a colour set. So I wasn't too sure on that. But apart from that, I think I found a decent colour without it blowing about, like so. Just gonna, if I can. Okay, this part you get paint all over your fingers. Like so. So it's not a bad aircraft, guys, so far. It's nice detail. Like so. So I think now. Ooh, nice detail. I'm going to let it dry and give it another layer in a bit, but I'm going to do um, all the actual other parts first. That's on the sprues, as they say. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, different colours on here. But again, just nice layers, that's all you need. Across here. It might be a bit too thin, this paint, I might have done it, so. Have to bear with, guys. Just give it nice, even layers to build up uh, colour. Hmm. Um, foot pedals here. Now, I think the buffalo was always kind of, um, it was disliked by its own, uh, well, it wasn't disliked, but it was kind of, how would you pull it, um, 
font its name now. What's the actual name for it? Where it's out outclassed or outdone by, I've forgotten the name, by other aircraft. Etc. The Wildcat or or others. But that was by its own US people, like pilots and that. But it's surprising how the actual Finnish from Finland, obviously, liked it more than the actual US pilots, which is actually pretty weird. Okay, so I've just noticed. I think there might be a bit of residue or something on that part. So if you notice, look. Well, nice oh, work now. Devil. So, uh, so yeah, there we are. Okay, I'm just going to paint all these better. Make them all look like the interior green. And now, once that's done, we'll crack on putting it all together. Okay, so the, the wigs are still giving me dread, they are, I'll tell you that a lot. But I mean, even these resin parts keep falling out, so I think I might just put some super glue in there and get it all fixed up. But as you can tell, I'm not in the best of ways because uh, I have developed what's known as a cold by my weird voice and acting that my stuff knows I have trouble talking properly which is going to be absolutely great so apologies if that uh, basically I'll be looking at next steps what to do now this is a step which is quite uh, which has quite got me basically we have the the cockpit floor with the seats rests I guess they are and then there's this part in the middle that's for the actual uh, yoke control stick or whatever and that fits onto this piece here but I do not know what this piece is actually for because uh, with this piece uh, the whole lot does not fit onto the actual like part of the aircraft which is quite bizarre so, if I don't know what it is, it's not going to be seen anyway. So, I've basically left this piece out and basically just done the top half and the yoke control stick there. But that's pretty much it, guys. And then this part fits onto the back, like so. Because if you imagine that part I was saying about, it fits on there. So that fits there, and that should of course I'll fit on like so. The problem is though, no one will see underneath there. No one, so what's the issue with that piece there? I don't know anyway. But uh, apart from that, uh, that's going to be glued onto there, and then that's onto there. So, I, I don't know, pretty much like that. Well, there we are. So, yeah, that's really it. That's that's going to go together onto that piece. And then we have another piece of fits onto this. Which I'm just going to go away and do now. So that's pretty much the next steps. And then we'll get on to putting the fuselage halves together. Well, one of them anyway to build up the cockpit inside. Okay, so the... I need to stop saying okay as a poor thing. And my cold is still here. Anyway, we've got the parts on here. So apparently, this is a, it's a huge piece of plastic, that is. And it fits into a groove on the back here. So, to say, like so. Uh, obviously, it's not going to stick right now, but... Apparently... Something like that, apparently. How it goes on the angle, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's telling me to put it like so. Just a touch of glue in there. On the edge like that. 
like so. Just make sure it's level. That's fixed in position. Like that. Okay, so that looks pretty much right. Uh, I'm just going to bar the other piece to hold it together. Like so. So it will actually will take a while just to hold this in place for like so. For just a while, that's all. Come on. There we are. Oh no. There we go. So pretty much just go and rest like that while it dries. Uh, it does fit all right actually, not too bad. There's no problems there, but then again, it's going to be problem elsewhere doing this lot. So as long as I keep it directly down, there's no issue. I shouldn't think anyway. Uh, like so. Right, so it looks like I'm stuck here. I'll hold this in place until it actually does something. Wings, fuselage, they are complete. Well, more or less complete. And apparently, that fits on like so, somehow. Uh, I guess it fits on like that. I guess so. I'm not too sure. Either how, this is quite a challenging piece of work pretty much guys. This bottle really, really is. Like so. Uh, right. Right, so that's in position, like so. Just make it actually fit properly, that's the best thing. So I've just holding that in place, like so. The trouble is, what makes it difficult is that you haven't got the other side to hold it into. Which I suppose I could do right now, whilst I'm just holding on to it. But uh, it's kind of difficult, really, guys. This camera is really, really difficult. Okay, that's. I'm not happy with that. Uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the other fuselage half and then put those two together so that we can actually make it up pretty much as we like. A bit confused, as you can see. We have now, the cockpit is now all pretty much done. Uh, I don't think I've done much recording this. I'm going to be honest, guys. It was very, very fiddly co cockpit together. Beautifully detailed, but very, very beautiful. Um, naturally, the, the instrument panel is the photo etch part, which fits onto the film sheet and then the plastic actual part. There's actually a couple of pieces to this. There's the main part. It's parted on the side, and of course on the other side as well. Uh, on the other side here we've got some equipment down here, and some pockets for instructions, I don't know what they're for. Uh, naturally you've got your seat harnesses, which is just two there, which I'm, I guess so, that's all they had in the actual buffalo. And on the other side you have more radio compartments, your elevator trim, throttle and oil levers, uh, I think they are radio gun parts and also your side for the instrument panel parts. Um, I'm going to be honest, the, it's very nice. It's such a beautiful kit, guys. The cockpit is so fiddly, though, I'm going to be honest. Because uh, the instructions like that goes there and this goes there, and you're like, well, where, where is it supposed to go? So it's just a bit confusion. Confusion. <laughs> Confusing. And also, another part is that the actual um, gun. Well, the, the control stick is too close forwards to the actual instrument panel, so as you can tell there. So, 
It's going to be a pain, I reckon. Um, right, so the other part is the engine. Now, the engine is pretty much here. As you can tell, it's absolutely beautiful details. Beautiful plastic on this, guys. This isn't resin. This is resin here. As you can tell, it's still drying a bit. Um, that was a bit handy to saw off, really. Uh, but the actual engine is actually not bad. That's straight off the plastic sprue from Special Hobby. And that's very, very good for that. Very good. So now, pretty much, um, what I'm going to do is put the engine together on here. With all the... I think that's the actual starter motors across there. It's, back, it's beautifully detailed resin part, that is. You just have to be careful in cutting it out, pretty much. Uh, so, the only other issue I have is uh, locate those in holes there. The other issue I have is that the actual guns fixed in the front there. As you can tell, they're a bit raised up, if you get what I mean. It's not really a good pring thing. The problem is, though, no one's going to see it, only if you look under the undercarriage there, you have that all that beautiful detail showing through. So once again, very sadly, guys, this is all going to be fixed up and closed up, which sadly none of it you'll actually see. So I'm just going to take a photograph. So, take a nice photograph, all the detail, if I can, let's see. Come on. And of course, last but not least, the other side. So, and now what we're going to do is very carefully attach the other side across here. Now, now you might notice something different while I'm using. Oh, actually, hold on. We haven't all put together this part. Very actual important part for uh, any aircraft. The actual tailwheel part. Completely forgot about it. Okay, actually it might help us put some glue in first, would always be a help. Like so. And the two other halves go together like so. So like I was saying, it's completely different to see me using um, the uh, the Revel contact glue. Never seen me use that. Right, another problem I have. Oh, actually, sugar. Take that away. I should really do these things more. Got these giant locator, well, not locator pins, but parts where it's come off the spread. Just forgot to trim down. Oh dear, dear me. Sorry about that, guys. We'll try and carry on now. Okay, there's two parts going like so. Not a bad fit. A bit tight. Oh, actually. A bit tight around that engine cowling. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Uh, oh dear God. Oh dear God. Talk about that for a gap. Um, okay, it's not a bad kit. It goes together well. Just has actually holding anything together. That's the real issue. Um, hmm. It's better just get us a bit of tape. Bounce it across the workbench just hold it in place well while it dries a bit and hopefully then we can actually get some parts actually glued together hmm 
I don't like the look of this front radial part of the engine guys because as you can tell it does look a bit like it's gonna Ooh. Hmm. I don't know it looks like we'll just have to tidy up as we go pretty much uh, it's just going to be a pain to get um, all together Oh, but actually, it's taking shape. It's a cute little aircraft, I have to admit. I'm actually loving this. Very nice. Even though it's a pain. Oh, well, I mean, special hobby kits do live up for their money.